A lateral ear canal resection feedback from two owners. I'll be kind to pet educational video for vet students and pet owners. Sponsored by Tapayo Vets. Owner number one did this surgery four years ago. Okay, April 13, 2014, Sunday morning. This Carvilla King Charles comes in actually for vaccination, right? Yep. Uh, no complaint over the ears? No. Or There's slight complaint. Which one? On Which the right. The right ear, what happened? What's the complaint? No. Wait, wait, I, I, I say, I, let me say first, okay, this, this Carvilla King Charles had very uh, badly infected ears since uh, 2009, when he was, how many years old? He was already uh, two, to three. two to three years old, and we do the irrigation and uh, ear drops, but it didn't work. So, so in uh, in uh, July 2010, the left ear had a ear surgery, and in September 2010, the right ear had the ear surgery called lateral ear canal resection. Okay, so after that, now of course it's 2014, uh, so far, I've not heard from you complaining about the ears, right? So okay, so today we just do a follow-up uh, video, and now I ask the owner: Has there been any uh, improvement? Yep, a in, lot. In the in, in what way? In the drying up the ventilation. No, I mean any scratching, right? Scratching. Uh, I used to scratch a lot, right? Used to scratch a lot. And head shaking a lot, right? Head shaking. A lot. Then after this surgery? After opening the ear canal. Improvement, yes. Still any head shaking? No. Uh, ear scratching of the hind leg? Mm, very seldom. Like that. Last time you used to scratch yeah. a lot, right? Last time you used to scratch a lot. Sure. Allah used to do this. Non stop. And then any pass from the ears? Uh, before surgery, yes. After that? After that, a lot of improvement. Uh, okay, the reason is why this, this Carvilla King Charles has this ear infection is because the ear is floppy ear, so there's no ventilation. So when there's no ventilation, the vertical canal, which was here before, traps the water and dirt and dirt, and then it's also quite hairy. I think this dog has hairy ears, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no no uh, ventilation, so all the bacteria, yeast and fungus grows there. And uh, so the dog feels very uncomfortable and shake, shake the head and then scratch the back leg to uh, relieve the itch. So we use uh, ear ointment and uh, and ear irrigation, but it didn't work. So I think he did. He, uh, the owner has decided to do the lateral ear canal resection. And as you can see, today is uh, about four years. About four years after that, and I see the right ear. Right ear looks. You can see the horizontal canal opening. There's the hole there. Uh, the horizontal canal ear opening. So everything can drain up from the horizontal ear canal opening. The vertical ear canal wall has been cut off. So as you can see, there's no more no more trapping of the of the ears. And uh, and uh, so as far as I can see, this right ear seems to be quite successful. The vertical canal wall actually I didn't touch it, I know why it's it's just quite sensitive. So the vertical canal wall was here, it was like that. So this one can cut off this rectangle piece and then uh, open up the horizontal canal, which can see very clearly. Okay, so now we talk about the left ear. So you have some complaint about the left ear, right? Yes. What, what's the complaint? Suspected is infection. When was that? Uh, about two weeks back. Now, okay, the left ear is so much different from the right ear. As you can see, it's inflamed and it's red. I think the dog has been scratching it. Uh, yes, but we put him on the ear collar. Mm. But do you use any ear drops or anything? Uh, neodym provided last time. Neodym to do what? what to apply on the infected area, the area on the ears. Mm. When was that you used? Um, since two weeks. Mm. Okay, this 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 one happened only recently, uh, which is surprising. Because for the last four years, nothing happened? Yeah, very little cases of such things happening. Mm. So it's a very surprised finding. Yes. It just happened, it comes for vaccination. Now, as to what causes it, uh, do you use ear drops? Uh, no. Nothing? Not yet. Not at no, before that? Not before. Okay, you didn't use ear drop. So, in, in this case, I would say that uh, something has gone into the horizontal canal. And uh, so, the owner, owner has to maintain the horizontal canal. Although the operation, somehow it saves him the trouble of cleaning the ears, right? A lot. But, uh, a lot of trouble. But in, in, in many cases, 
the horizontal canal still has to be clean mm -hmm. because sometimes there is some hair there trapped inside. Because this dog has hairy ears, you see. You can see the hair. So what happened is probably uh, there's an infection in the horizontal canal. You can see the leg. They see the leg. You can see the leg. Huh? No, sh sh show the leg. Huh? Mm -hmm. You can see the leg is. Yeah, yeah. Ah, see? See the leg, ah. So this is a sign that the ear canal is very itchy. In this case, the horizontal ear canal or the ear itself. Now, applying the cream won't work. Yep. Unless he, he, how you know it won't work? Yeah, <laughs> he, he realized it doesn't work. So this one, you can see it's very bad. Huh? So this one has to irrigate the horizontal ear canal. And then after that, he applies the ear ointment to maintain it. Now this one, he seems to be quite lucky. For four years, he didn't have to do anything. I don't think he even uh, touched the horizontal canal. And, yeah. and, and he was so uh, lucky. But normally, in some dogs, you need to maintain the horizontal canal by putting some ear drops inside and massaging like that. Ointment? Uh, yeah, ointment, not, not the neodym. Mm. And But I can see it's starting a really redness coming in again. Yeah. Either the dog had gone swimming, mm -hmm. or some shampoo has irritated him. Do you uh, change shampoo? Just shout today, so hmm. I give him a little rubbing. No, do you change shampoo? No change of shampoo. Oh, something I irritated him. Because you can see, uh, this one is okay, you can see the leg. Nah? It's not too bad. Oh, I see, there's no reaction. Ah, that's a bit. A little, but not as bad. Ah, see, it's starting already. So, so, so actually, for the right ear, we just put the ear uh, ointment in. Of course, I think he has to muzzle the dog because he seems to like to bite. Yeah, very and then he put uh, five drops in and then he massage that. Put the dog on the table and massage about three times a week. And uh, that is better than putting uh, you know, the same as here. So I asked him to do it. And then uh, he, he has to take some antibiotics because it's much inflamed. Huh? Mm -hmm. And now you can see this horizontal canal. Clogged up in here. Huh? Yeah, the hair is inside. Huh? Yeah. Hair is inside. So, by right, he should pluck the ear hairs, huh? but uh, now that the canal is swollen, so we don't do any plucking first. Yeah. And uh, this part, you can see, is uh, inflamed. Inflamed, there's a bit of wet, wetness there. Mm -hmm. So he you you has caught it early. Now, the other thing we check is whether there's any scabies or not coming in. Huh? Some of the scabies will cause uh, this problem. Scabies because, has it, has it mixed with other dogs? Um, no. Has he gone, gone? This one only started after he went for grooming. Oh, so he's mixed with other dogs, is he? Probably. So he went for grooming. Because the groomer normally has other dogs. And most likely he's he used the ear ointment or ear drops. Normally groomer cleans the ears, right? Normally, I uh, think they should. So in that case, actually the, the answer is, actually this dog, ears have been disturbed by the groomer for some reason. Uh, whether he's using the ear drops to clean the ear, he plucked the ear has and uh, they resulted in this. Whereas the previous year, the groomer didn't, probably didn't touch the ears. Uh, or maybe it. it's just too uh, much of cleaning till it's a bit uh, so You see, uh, it's a very interesting uh, case. Because it only happens four years later. Uh, and uh, so the, the, my advice is don't let the groomer touch the ears anymore. And then uh, shave all board. Mm -hmm. Shave all board. The groomer can do for you? Yeah. Shave all board. And then, uh, so, so you apply the ear ointment first. In, direct into the ear. No? Did, did he pluck the ear hairs or not? No, it's no. quite difficult for him because once you open the ear canal, he's very sensitive. Oh, so he can't. So when it comes to shaving and stuff, yeah, see this, quite, see the it's reflex, quite the ear scratching reflex. So okay, so what I do is I will sedate this now after his uh, stress, heat stress is down. Mm -hmm. So now he's painting, he walk here. Then uh, we will clean the ear once. Mm -hmm. and Are then, you able to do the shaving for the inner ears? The whole thing shave off. Um, just maybe in, the outside you can don't. spare it, but the inside, I'm more concerned yeah. for the inside, as in yeah, the interior. Of you the don't need to be shaved here. Um, it's okay for the inside, you can shave entire, but the outside you can keep. No, which one you don't want to shave? Um, the outside we don't shave, but inside everything we shave away. Does it increase here? Yeah? yeah, you can include that. Make it clean. No, I'm just worried there's scabies coming in. Scabies can cause this problem. So, so uh, sometimes okay, I'll give a scabies injection. It looks like it's even here, so it's having this reflect. Normally, here shouldn't have, you see? Does it bite me already? So, this could be a part of a scabies coming in, infestation of the ear edges. Huh? And uh, you see the reflect. Because normally, they don't get this because uh, 
Sometimes scabies is just coming, but it's not obvious yet. Nah. The crustiness, mm. the crustiness is not obvious yet. So I give the scabies injection. There was some. Huh? Oh, when, yeah, I no, showered, not, when I showered, uh, it, I washed, washed off some of the uh, crusts. So the diagnosis is actually most likely is the scabies causing this ear itch. <laughs> uh, it stays a, around this area and it's like hard. Uh, crustiness, but yeah. Then after that, it's hard to. When was that? Um, a few days back when I showered him again, mm. um, there was some of those hard skin or something. Uh, yeah. Normally, the, like like the dry skin here on the edges, you know. Yeah, and then around this area. Only this year, right? This year. The yeah, other year, year nothing. Not so much, uh, nothing. Okay, so so in this case, uh, so this is actually considered a successful lateral ear canal resection surgery, and uh, and uh, this is good news for the dog, of course because he can sleep more peacefully, he doesn't have to shake his head every day or have smelly ears. Yeah. Uh, so now what we do is, we will have to sedate him and clean up the horizontal canal and clear off the ear hairs and once and for all, he must ask the groomer not to clean the ears anymore. Only he himself does it. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Owner number two did the same surgery three months ago. Today, April 13, 2014, Sunday, this Carvalho King Charles comes in. In fact, this is the second one. On, yeah, on, I mean, today, today's second one, and uh, with the same uh, surgery done. Now, this one, the surgery was done. The lat lateral ear canal resection of the right ear was done uh, uh, around uh, three months ago. Is there any any uh, complaint on this ear? No. No complaint, huh? And. Uh, it's just the Huh? It's just dirty. Dirty, yeah, but owner has to maintain it. Mm. And uh, before that was very smelly, right? Mm. And the dog was scratching it a lot. You can see this one because she came rather late, so the ear canal is not so uh, horizontal ear canal opening is not so so obvious as the uh, the other cocker spaniel we saw just now. Uh, and also it's quite recent. It's only three three months ago, right? Mm. But the owner is happy that there is no uh, head shaking, right? Mm. No smelly ears. The main complaint was smelly ears. So I'm just saying about a coincidence that the same breed, early on we videoed the Cocker Spaniel uh, operated three years ago with no problem. Okay, now she said that the left ear, left ear, you can see swelling, inflammation, and uh, a clock up opening of the vertical canal. That is because uh, of the infection and the scratching. The, the vertical canal is swollen, so you can't see the opening. Normally, you can see the opening. Uh, due to swelling, you can't see. So, what the owner wanted was to do a similar surgery. But I had told her that it's very difficult to do any surgery now because, as you can see, it's fully swollen and it's painful and inflamed. So, the best time to do surgery is about one week later. and. Uh, at the moment, if you do surgery, <coughs> it won't be very good results. Uh, the whole, whole, whole uh, area will be badly inflamed and <coughs> stitch will break down. So today I'm going to give anti-inflammatory injection and and the, huh? and, uh, and the owner will clean the ears and give antibiotics. It's very, it's very painful. So this dog is really distressed actually. Let's see, it's very distressed. See the leg? You see the leg? Are there? The reaction, I just want to show the reaction of the, of the ear, ear pain, the ear infection. Okay, that's fine. So we see the other ear. It should not have this reflex if the, if the ear is not itchy. So we will show it. Now let's see any. Probably have some. Let me see. Surprising one. Normally the, the leg would. Yeah. But since the ear has no itchiness or pain, you see the ear is quite relaxed. I mean the leg. You can see uh, because the hand is uh, the hand is blocking her actually. So, so that's why my theory is that that the uh, when the dog keeps on doing this, actually it's a it's a ear infection because as you can see from this dog with the lateral ear canal resection, uh, we will test test my theory. We test my theory and uh, by by by. By just rubbing the ear, and you can see that uh, there's no, not much odd, a bit maybe, but nothing significant as compared to the as compared to the other side. Now the other side, I just touch a bit only. I touch touch a bit only, and then the dog will. 
you see the reaction. So this, this is a simple observation to show that many owners think that it's due to infection of the flanks and elsewhere. And then in this case, because it's recent, uh, so the dog didn't scratch the neck. Or it did, did scratch a bit. Uh. No, this one was huh? caused by the, the previous mm. neck collar. No, it, did, it didn't do, I mean, there's not much damage to the neck or the elbow. Okay, so. So in conclusion, based on feedback from these two owners, we know that the dog is no more suffering from the chronic arthritis externia. Therefore, there's no more pain in the ears, and the dog can live a much comfortable life. Also, because of no more of this infection of the ear, the skin around the ears, necks and flank will also have lesser skin infections also. Also, on the owner's end, the owner has no more of that smelly smell that everyone complains about whenever they come to the house. In the long run, it is also cheaper to do this surgery because it helps you keep the maintenance of the dog uh, at a lower end and it's easier to handle the dog when washing and cleaning the ears also. This is, this is also helping you in saving time when treating the dog like bathing or grooming in any way or form. For more information on this surgery, please contact us at the following email and telephone number.